uh, really to tone it down, uh, to not incite violence on the part you know, some of your some Democrats are, are taking even stronger language uh, than you've used this morning. Marsha Fudge, Congresswoman Marsha Fudge, the chairman of the Congressional Black Caucus, calling Donald Trump a racist. Mayor Bill de Blasio of New York this morning uh, saying Mr. Trump behaves like a racist, speaks like a racist. Of course, Donald Trump is a racist. Are they right? Well, look, this is a man you will recall a few years ago. Who led the uh, anti? Who led the Bertha movement? That was a movement that tried to delegitimize the presidency of Barack Obama, trying to claim that the president was not born in this country. A funny thing, George. You know, my father was born in Poland. I'm a son of an immigrant. Nobody has asked me for my birth certificate. Were there strong racial overtones to try to challenge the legitimacy of President Obama? Of course, there was. But I think what we are seeing in the Trump campaign is not only racist attacks, but what you're seeing is attacks on Muslims, on women, on veterans. To attack Senator John McCain because he was a POW is crazy. To insult Mexicans and our neighbors to the south, calling Mexicans a rapist or, or, or criminals. This guy, there was a big debate in the United Kingdom Parliament of whether or not he should even be allowed to enter the United Kingdom. This is a man who is dividing up this country in very serious ways, frightening ways. And I think what we are doing is getting my campaign is getting them nervous. I understand that because the last national poll had us 18 points ahead of him. Some state polls had us even more ahead of him. So I think you got a guy who is getting a very, very nervous. First, you have to get by Secretary Clinton. You surprised her and everyone in Michigan last week. We've got these big votes coming up in Ohio, Florida, North Carolina, Illinois, and Missouri this week. Is lightning going to strike again, and where? Well, I, you know, we have done some rallies in the last few days. We've been in Ohio. Uh, we have been in uh, North Carolina. Uh, we have been in Illinois. Turnout is very strong. I am sensing, George, that we have a lot of momentum. Uh, we've got a lot of energy. And if, as has always been the case, there are large voter turnouts, we'll do well. We have now won nine caucuses and primaries, eight of them by double-digit victories. So my view is that if there's a large turnout in Ohio, uh, a large turnout in Illinois, uh, North Carolina, Missouri, uh, I think we're going to do very well. I think Florida is a tougher state for us. Okay, Senator Sanders, thanks very much for joining us this morning.